Pascal and Esco. All right, now now I'm gonna kick it over. Actually, no, I'll kick it over to myself. Yeah. I want to bring I want to bring this bad boy in, but I know y'all got there. No y'all y'all go back here. I'm bringing down the house. Lunch. I'm bringing down the house, man. I'm I'm opening it up for everything. All right, all types of assaults. We're talking about the new Netflix movie, Open House. The Open House. I heard, the, oh, sorry, I heard the it's open great. House. <laughs> I heard y'all loved it. Oh, yeah. it is a flaming tire fire. Is that like our <laughs> new catchphrase? Like, it did definitely, I coin? definitely okay, is. Great. I, I made that official like three weeks ago. Well, no. we can't swear on this <laughs> show, so I was going to call it a heaping piece of shit. Yeah. I'll just Photoshop okay. all our faces into a dumpster. Don't worry, I got this. It'll be our new logo. <laughs> a uh, tire well, fire the, is certainly better. <laughs> well, we'll just say, we'll just say it's, 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 it's a heaping fresh helping of garbage juice. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about The Open House. It's the uh, newest movie from Netflix, just uh, premiered, and starring uh, Dylan uh, Minnette and Dylan Piercy Dalton. Dalton. I've actually seen these two people As in various Logan things. and Naomi Wallace, are they play uh, brother and sister, directed by Matt Angel and Suzanne Coast. They wrote and directed this, too. Ooh, well, so that's that's just, all, just, the, all the blame is uh, lays on uh, the shoulders of these two, from what I hear, because the writing is crap and the directing is also it, 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 it it's awful because like we have a number of bad things to say about this unfortunately but i do have to give it a little bit of praise because the cinematography would actually look good and these actors are trying yes. me, and these actors are trying which <laughs> is all the actors worse wanted to get paid so yes. bad they were you know trying what? people people think well i'm an actor in hollywood but i'm in a bad movie well then obviously i suck it's like no you're an actor in hollywood you took a script because it was available and you had to what? work groceries cost man. money these cats are given an mm. effort mm. in what is undoubtedly a well, okay. Well, let me break what, down what this is about first of all. You are giving it, it's very way simple. too much more well, credit. Don't get your turn, my man. I'm stuck uh, in my words. I'm here. sorry. All bro, right. But, mm. All right. Now it's a story about a teenager and his mother who find themselves besieged by threatening forces when they move into a new house. Uh, uh, normally, I think that is a far too simple, too simplistic explanation for a movie. But that's exactly what this is. Thought, right? A family, uh, <laughs> the father passes away, the mother can't afford to support them, so they move into their sister's it house. It's a in tragic the thing. They have a place to stay, and yeah. then they have to, what is it, they have to leave because they're actually, ha- they're trying to sell this house, correct? Yeah, the, it's, it's, the, their sister's house is also up for sale, so it's an open house, hence the title, The Open, the open house. house. So they have to leave at the same time like every Sundays week. Sundays from like 9 to 5, they have to, to do an open house, right? And while they're there, there's some ominous things starting happening, and... It's it gets a little like you think that's like a a good premise all of a sudden it's like that there's something wrong with this house it's just a standard haunted house movie but it doesn't it's really, very ambiguous but it doesn't really stay with any of the kind of themes they're going for mm. it seems to bounce around too much when it really it should be as straightforward as this is a creepy house there's something going on it let's explore that well they add it a... doesn't really stick to that for me and it's just like what are you going for exactly and why are you trying to do too much yeah, it seems like they inject uh, kind of a paranormal element. Yeah. Uh, to it in several different scenes, you think this is going to be more of a supernatural thriller, and you're waiting for it to get all spooky and ghost-like. Yep. And you're thinking it's described as a thriller. Okay, it's gonna happen. Give it another minute. It's gonna happen. Give it another minute. And it moved really slowly, like just Ugh. a painfully slow pace, until finally, Jay, your impression. <laughs> Literally, you can fast forward until like the 30-minute mark is when things start picking up. I mean, that's a slight spoiler, but I mean, listen, it's no. it's incredibly slow. Um, I mean, first off, the budget's a hundred grand. Like your budget's a hundred grand. People so have done a budget with a hundred grand. There's so, plenty of movies. Yeah, I've done. Get out with it. Right. Get out with it. Cheaply made movies. Absolutely. Tangerine no. is one of the best movies that came Tangerine. out in the past ten years. Filmed on an iPhone, and right? Filmed on an iPhone. Filmed on an iPhone. One of the best movies of the but past this, but ten this, years. But this is not one of those movies. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> flat out. No. But it is. Yeah. <laughs> but this is not one of those <laughs> movies. I mean, the pacing was incredibly slow. You think it's going to build up to something? Like you said, Pete. You think it is a psychological thriller, but in the end. Like, oh, it's going to be some stuff. No. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go around the corner. What did you find there? What's, he find? What's, what's in the basement? Nothing. Yeah, I was oh. thinking, like, maybe this would have some, like, jump scares or something like that. Exactly. A little spooky thing yeah. you can watch with your girl. Like, late at night, it's going to be like, oh, this is a good little horror movie. A little mess with your head a little bit. And it's just like, what is it's going on? There's nothing happening. Well, and this is... They, they utilize the music very well. So you're thinking, okay, the music started to pick up. Yeah, it plays yeah. this, like, that. dark, and ominous then, type thing. And then nothing. it's just, like, nothing. It's like, okay, yeah. you're building it up. Or enough, I can't stress the nothing. Well, if I can, about if, I can if I can just expose one of the main reasons why it feels like such a letdown is because the movie sets up about ten or twelve different red herrings, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. in a film like this, where it, it's described as a thriller, so you know what you're going, you're, what you're getting going in, and the trailer makes it look like okay, we definitely see people in peril, something's going to happen, so there's definitely a villain. Cool. 
Could it be this person? Could it be this person? And they set up. There's a broken step that's going to be a factor later. There's a uh, 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 um, a pilot, pilot light that keeps going out. Boiler. There's a crazy, or potentially crazy neighbor. There's a suspect plumber. There's a father who may or may not be this. Like all this is just like going at you. And you think, okay, whatever this is going to be, it's going to be this. I can't wait. Is it and a the mystery? Whole thing is drags it out so right. slowly that you stop caring. Oh, and no. I'm watching the story <laughs> intently. Like, okay, I'm following the clues. Did you follow the clues? I did. I followed the clues. Did you follow the clues? No. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Johnny, you were you wanted the sucker too, man. Were you following the different clues that they sprinkled throughout? Uh, yeah, I tried. This movie... Okay, so it was... What, 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 what's your thoughts, man? It's everything else. Like, you guys said it. It's pilot trash. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, everyone no, that's in there, there, everyone that's in there, and, and all the production work that went into it, you can see, like, everyone wanted it to be good. But they also acknowledged that it was they they knew it like all, probably like halfway through the movie they knew it was bad. Yeah. And there were some dialogue exchanges between the mother and the son where they were talking about like, oh, uh, this is bad, but we got to deal with it. And I was like thinking like, are they talking about the movie oh, or no. oh, their no. characters mm. in there? Like yeah. it seems like they inserted that like ad lib in order to like poke fun at the movie that they're actively. Yeah. Well, it's they get caught up in was it even that self-aware? Like, was it yeah. that self-aware, or is it just so bad? No, there's bad nothing, nothing tongue-in-cheek like about this. This was, this was played seriously, and yes. what they, what the actors tried to give us, in my opinion, I think you feel different, Jason. Uh, I'll, I'll get you, I'll get yours in a quick second. Mm -hmm. I felt like the actors tried to do the best they could with what is, without any other That's way to say it, a job, bad though, script. You know I is. agree. Well, yeah, but if I they're agree. bad actors, that would be one like logical, like uh, uh, understandable, like graspable reason why it's bad. But if they're good, if they're uh, trying, if they're giving forth a decent performance, but it just sucks, we can't blame them. I've seen now. good actors in bad movies, and I still walk away with, like, okay, that was a good performance. But Me too. I didn't, yeah. I didn't Lucky get number that. seven. And, and I didn't get and that from this movie. I didn't get, like, okay, they elevated the material in any sort of way, which is a sign of, like, I guess bad acting. I don't think they're bad actors. I just think there was a bad performance because yeah. I can't even walk away from this being, like, well, at least – you know, he did what he could, given the horrible script. Sometimes you are stuck with a bad script, and sometimes you can elevate the material. But I just didn't get that from any of the actors in this. I don't think they brought anything to it that would have... I walked away with something that's like, okay, well, that at least was something significant in the movie that I can, you know, give a thumbs up to. But, really, bro? Yeah. You, 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 think, you think the, uh, the uh, mountain cops? Look, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing sometimes we can do. Sometimes kids are jerks. Yeah, it's, they it's do really, like, horrible writing, like, dialogue that's just, <laughs> like, ripped out of, like, these no, no. horrible, like, bad uh, genre tropes and stuff like that. It's things you would expect them to say that are just so obvious and just being like, wow, that's that's the, the mean, line I you're going to deliver. From, from top to bottom, it was all just horrible tropes they borrowed. Everything from, like, the weird, awkward kid, the jumpy mom... Um, the scene, the shower scene, where you think something's gonna pop out while she's taking a shower. Yeah, the, hungry, like the hungry these... brother from the uh, from the uh, grocery store. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, that, 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 man, that man was thirsty. Then, um, yeah, he, 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 he was, was just he was just like, hey, hey. So your husband died, huh? Like, whoa, whoa, damn. Huh? That I mean, well, yesterday I had asked enough time, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, awkward, if you need awkward, anything, just awkward call middle aged white woman neighbor <laughs> who's a little on the nosy side. I mean, they hit yeah, all these yeah, little she boys. Was... It is just like, for what? Like, For what? I, it's just I, I, I don't want to spoil right? it, but I'm just telling you, like, it's not. It ain't worth watching, honestly. Yeah, I got. I got to say the same. It's not worth watching. Going down. I got to give it a thumbs down. Thumbs down. Yeah. And the thing is, I went into this like, you know, it's been a long time since I saw a good thriller. Let's let's get into it. And here's I was my excited. Here's my notes for the film. Haunted house movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, almost, I had nothing else which, to write about it because I didn't want to talk. <laughs> like, which, which surpri surprisingly, it's it, is, not, it, is, it is not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Now, they lay out the concept of it's an open house, so you're just letting strangers <laughs> in your home. And only in one point. Like, how one, weird is an open house? Yeah, it, it, it was one throwaway sentence that acknowledges what the, the crux of this movie is. If that line, I mean, I mean honestly, if, if, if I like went to the bathroom, <laughs> or even, even that, if, if, I, if I like, you know, uh, went to freshen my drink. If I scratched myself for, for like you know a solid ten seconds, then turned back, I'd have missed exa completely what this film is supposedly well, the, about. The, the, you, the you title would, sums it up perfectly. You wouldn't have caught the end. You wouldn't have caught the end. The <laughs> no. end is like this abrupt, man. No, the very very end. Yeah. Open house pops up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the very end. Uh, see, it see because <laughs> this the title of the movie completely sums it up and how boring it is. The open house. It's, it's like how boring and straightforward of a title 
to lead you into a very boring, straightforward, I guess not straightforward, but like very boring, uncreative <laughs> way to describe something. The it, open house. <laughs> oh, what's it about? It's about an open house. Okay, that's crap. Yes, exactly. It's it lazy. You know what I mean? It it's was lazy, lazy in a writing. It was lazy in a writing, and it was lazy in acting. I agree with Adam 100% because, I mean, if I'm not motivated by a script, I'm not going to bring my A game. And definitely, you can definitely right. tell these actors phoned it in. And I don't blame them. Like, I've I mean, seen <laughs> bad I don't blame act- at all. Good actors do bad movies. Like, I've seen mm-hmm. Nicolas Cage turn in bad movies, but I'm like, hey, Nicolas Cage. Then this hey, man. Is, it's a little crazy, hey, you know what I mean? But, Deadfall was a classic. Forget uh, you. So... It's like I've seen Con Philip Seymour Hoffman do <laughs> movies that are like, okay, maybe not the best movie, but like, man, mm-hmm. that's an actor who elevated to like, I can't say anything about him. There's a, cases with that all the time, and in no mm-hmm. way was this elevated by anything. The writing, the acting. Yeah, so we got to give it a hard it thumbs down. Through, hard, if you want to subject yourself to this, it's The Open House. It's available now on Netflix. You can check it out. It's only an hour and a half runtime. Oh. But honestly, what can you do an hour and a half? Oh. Um, you taxes, can watch three episodes of a good TV show. How about that? Exactly. Make yourself a good sandwich. Yeah, You'll and, enjoy and, that. And, <laughs> and save that month, realizing you could be doing much worse things right now. Or, ironically enough, find an open house in your local neighborhood. <laughs> Take a tour. That gonna, would be a better time. Yeah. All right, all I'm right. I'm not going to lie, yo. Clean gonna, your I've own been, house. I don't know. What I've been going to open houses, and I'm sitting here like, you never go to the basement alone. This is not realistic. Like, <laughs> when I'm looking at a new house, you don't ever just walk to the basement by yourself. Like, what are you doing? No. So I, I was that. so living. I'm in the basement. By myself, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah but you're creepy. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to turn it over to just Johnny. You got the yeah. inside stuff on Pyre. I'm... I, I'm, a, I'm unfortunately uh, ignorant as to what uh, system you played this on, 